Hello, I'm Chris Barrow with the BBC News. President Biden has said that the sentencing of the US basketball player Brittany Griner to nine years in prison in Russia is unacceptable. The two-time Olympic gold medalist was convicted of smuggling drugs after admitting to possessing cannabis oil when she was detained in Moscow in February. The White House has urged Russia to accept its offer of a deal to release Ms Griner and a former US Marine, Paul Whelan. Barbara Pletasha is in Washington. Her supporters have gone quite public uh, and in saying that the Biden administration wasn't doing enough to get her home. And that has prompted, it seems, quite a strong response from the president and the secretary of state. It's widely believed that a prisoner swap is being discussed. Russian media have reported that there is talks in the offing to free the, uh, the Russian arms dealer, Victor Boot, known as the merchant of death, who's in prison here in the United States. So that would be quite a big decision for, for President Biden to make. But nothing has been announced announced, uh, and it's not clear if the Russians are holding out to get more. The FBI has arrested four current and former police officers in the city of Louisville over the fatal shooting of Breonna Taylor, a woman whose death in 2020 became a focus of the Black Lives Matter protests across the United States. The officers are accused of using false information to obtain the search warrant used to raid Breonna Taylor's home, where the 26-year-old was killed. Speaking in Louisville, the lawyer for Ms. Taylor's family, Ben Crump, welcomes the announcement. It's the first time in my knowledge that the Justice Department has got any accountability for a police officer killing a black woman in the United States of America. We can't think of any police officer that has been charged and convicted for killing a black woman in the United States of America on the federal level. And so that should be acknowledged. A court in Venezuela has sentenced a young opposition figure and former MP, Juan Recasens, to eight years in prison over a drone attack against President Nicolas Maduro in 2018. Twelve other people received sentences of 30 years, while four more got terms of between five and 24 years. With the latest for us, here's Katie Watson. The sentencing came four years to the day after the alleged attack. The hearing took place at dawn and was attended by Juan Requesen's lawyer. President Nicolas Maduro had been speaking at a military parade when two drones packed with explosives flew towards him. On detonating, they injured seven soldiers. The Venezuelan leader said it was an attempted assassination, even accusing Colombia's then-president Juan Manuel Santos of being behind the attack. Juan Requesens has always denied involvement and human rights organisations have condemned the sentences, saying those accused are scapegoats. This is the latest world news from the BBC. There have been violent attacks against suspected illegal miners in the South African township of Cajiso, west of Johannesburg. The latest reports say one person has been killed. Last week, eight women were gang-raped there while filming a music video, an attack blamed on unlicensed miners, many of whom are thought to be immigrants. The United States has declared monkeypox a public health emergency. The announcement from the Health and Human Services Secretary will release federal money and other resources to fight the virus in the US. Over 6,000 cases have been confirmed in two months. James Clayton reports. Pressure had been building on President Biden to do more to stop the spread of monkeypox. Public health officials say the disease is particularly prevalent amongst men who have sex with men. In cities like San Francisco, with a large LGBT presence, politicians have said not enough is being done to protect the community. There are existing vaccinations for monkeypox, but many who try to access them report waiting in long lines, only to be told there aren't enough to go round. The nationwide state of emergency will give public health authorities more power and more money to respond to the crisis, crucially to increase the vaccination rate in urban hotspots. The American conspiracy theorist and far-right broadcaster Alex Jones has lost a defamation case over the Sandy Hook school shooting in 2012. Mr Jones was ordered to pay more than $4 million in damages to the parents of a child killed in the massacre for falsely claiming the shooting was a hoax. The jury in Texas still has to decide on the punitive damages. A federal court in the US has announced criminal charges against a former governor of Puerto Rico for alleged corruption during her primary election campaign two years ago. The Department of Justice said Wanda Vasquez had been charged with conspiracy, bribery and wire fraud. She denied committing any crime. I'm Chris Barrow and for now, that's the latest BBC News.